In this segment, we want to talk about misreporting on your credit reports. Misreporting is a great problem in our country right now. When, when confronted, the creditors say it's the credit reporting agency's fault, and when we talk to the credit reporting agencies, it's the creditor's fault. So both are saying it's each other's fault, and we really don't know who to blame. Um, in some cases, I uh, have seen, yes, it was the creditor's mistake, and in a lot of cases, it was the credit bureau's mistake, especially when junior and senior information is crossing. So um, you don't want to name your kids after yourself, trust me. When you do that, you're going to end up with cross-referencing at some point because they're going to live under your roof. If they're over 18 years old and they're applying for credit and they live under the same address you do, the same name you have, then the chances of cross-referencing are huge, uh, especially on public record items, uh, tax liens, judgments, and bankruptcies. I can't tell you how many times I have had a, a consumer come in and their bankruptcy is showing up on their child's credit report or their child's bankruptcy is showing up on their credit report. And uh, just an uh, example last week, I had a client come in um, and he had eight accounts from his son's credit report on his and those same eight accounts, they're not joint, they didn't have anything to do with each other, uh, were on the son's credit report. A, under one bureau only, they transposed onto his credit report because they lived at the same address, shared the same name. So there's a lot of cross-referencing and wrong reporting going on out there. Now I want to go over, you know, you want to you want to look at your credit report very carefully. You want to make sure that balances you paid off are showing a zero balance. A lot of people have made the mistake, and now this is a big mistake that's being made, um, I paid off my credit card, I get a statement in the mail, I throw it in the trash and don't look at it because I paid it off. And so many times there's been like a $2 balance that wasn't paid and they ended up reporting you late to the credit bureaus over and over and over again for $2. It's going to destroy your credit. Now, wrongful reporting, um, you'll see a date it was paid off and there's late continuously showing after the date something was paid off. Or it shows paid in the notes section and it's still showing a balance. Um, showing currently delinquent. And we're going to show you some examples of that right now. At the bottom of this first page, you can see that this account here has a zero balance, paid 9 of 2005. Now, if you look at the middle field where it says mortgage, FHA, it says I2. This account is being reported currently delinquent on a zero balance. Now we want to take a look at our next example on the second page. At the bottom, there's an account, and it clearly shows paid and closed 5 of 2005. Yet look at the 90-day late field on the right side of it. It's reporting 24 times 90 days late past the date it was paid. This is 35 points off this person's score for each one of those. This is a huge hit. This is a huge piece of damage. And, and this happens quite often. Uh, like people who file bankruptcy, I have seen in many cases that the creditors did, it was the creditor's fault, but they continually reported the person delinquent past the date of bankruptcy. You can't do that. You cannot do that. Now with collections, if we look at the third sheet, you will see the second one down, it shows that this account was paid off 5 of 2003. Yet, they came back and put a profit and loss on this paid off account five years later, February of 2008, put a profit and loss which cost this person 45 points off their score on an account that's been paid off for five years. Who did it? Nobody's copying to it. It's either the creditor or it's the credit bureau. But these kind of things go on on consumer credit reports all over the country. So when you pull your credit report, take a good look at it. Make sure the accounts that you paid off are showing a zero balance. Make sure they're not showing currently delinquent on a zero balance. Make sure there's no lates being posted past that date. This is very important because these things can throw you out of a loan and cost you problems. Thank you, and we'll talk to you on the next segment.